Today in this video, I am going to describe about some of the mathematical functions which are available in the Java programming language. There are the lots of mathematical functions available in the in this package, but uh, among them, the most popular and mostly used mathematical functions uh, I am going to discuss in this video. So you can see there are lots of mathematical functions are available like math.sqrt, math.pow, math.max, math.min, math.abs, math.round, math.floor, math.seal, math.rain, math.random. Oh my god, so much, so much are there. Okay, no problem, one by one I am going to explain. Okay, so first function is math.sqrt. So in the math.sqrt, in sqrt function, it uh, takes uh, a single argument in this course we are going to actually write down the argument and uh, with the argument passed here and uh, the value passed here uh, maybe in the integer format or maybe in the double format it returns the square root of this particular number obviously there the numerical value must to be given in all the functions given here no string or no character value can be uh, can be used as an argument in this uh, in any kind of this function which are actually uh, shown in the uh, screen in math uh, math.sqrt it's always return a double data type value okay so let's see so you can see clutter variable in and i'm just going to uh, implement the formula math.sqrt and the uh, and with the, as the argument i'm just passed here as 9 okay as an argument which is a numeric value square root of the 9 is 3 which is stored in the variable n and n is printed here let's see what is the output uh, yes 3.0 is the output so correct so using the math.sqrt we can generate or we can get the square root of a numeric value the next function is math.pow by using the math.pow function we can power up the value uh, of a number with a specified rest power okay and in the first uh, in this uh, math.pow function we have to provide two arguments in the first argument one we have to provide the number or numerical value and uh, then after giving the comma and then uh, and then after the argument as the argument two we have to provide the power okay suppose if the value of a to the power n okay then we we just are going to write math.pow first as a argument a then comma and then the power value that is n okay and math.pow function always return the uh, double data type value so you can see i'm just going to find out the value of 2 cube okay and that's why i'm just written the value first 2 and then after the power value that is 3 so 2 cube i'm going to find out the value of 2 cube so let's see the 2 cube value is 8 and you can see it is 8.0 as the it returns the double data type value so it is not 8 it, uh, instead of 8 it is 8.0 okay uh, suppose i am going to calculate the value of 5 cube okay so 5 to the power 3 so now let's run the program so it is 125 okay so using the math.pow function we can easily calculate power of any kind of value and using the math.pow function you can also calculate the cube root of a number and as well as square root of an if we are just going to calculate the square root of 25 we can use the sqrt function instead of the power function then it returns 5 as a value uh, not 5 exactly it is 5.0 but using the power function we can also calculate the power uh, or also calculate the square root of any kind of number of cube root of any kind of value how what is square root square root means the power value is always be 1 by 2 okay okay so a to the power 1 by 2 this is the mean this means the square root of a right so value is 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 means 0 0.5 so i'm going to write 0 0.5 here and then after i'm going to run the program and you can see the value is, uh, is 5.0 which is actually the square root of the 25 now come to the next function which is actually math.max and math.min both are same uh, in the max function uh, and in the mean function we have to provide two argument okay and within our two values and uh, using the math.max function we can find out the maximum value in between these two argument value and uh, in the mean function it returns the minimum value in between the uh, these two argument okay and in the max and mean functions the return type depends okay it is not always be fixed 
if the argument one and argument two in both the in both case of the function max and mean functions the if the value both the arguments are integer type then it, it return the integer value and if the both the arguments are double data type then it returns a double day value so you can declare uh, to store the value which is written by the user uh, the variable as an integer or a double uh, as per the value uh, passed as an argument in the max and mean function now you can see i'm just going to find out the maximum value in between 25 and 50, uh, 50 okay so what is the maximum value obviously 50 is the maximum value let's see what's happened yes 50 is the maximum value uh, i just declare the n as uh, double so it returns as 50.0 if i'm just going to change it as integer int int then you can see if i run the program again it returns 50 so in max function is completely depend on the the data type returned by the function is completely depend upon the argument data type value it means the what kind of argument actually passes as a, in the max function a, this data type is going to return as a um, value okay so now i am going to use the main function instead of the max function so in between the 25 and 50 the obviously 25 is the minimum value so let's see what's happened yes 25 so by using the max or mean function we can get the result or get the output the maximum and minimum value only between the two argument not more than the two numbers okay it is only working on the two numbers now the next function is math.abs math.abs function is used to uh, return the absolute value of a number it means if I just provide a positive number in the ABS function, it returns the positive value. And if, if uh, in the ABS function, if we just provide a negative value, then it returns a positive value. Okay. Suppose if, if in ABS function, if I just passed a value as 10, then it returns 10. And if I just pass the value as minus 10, it returns 10, not minus 10. Okay. And for ABS function, the data type, uh, the return data type also depend of the argument which is uh, the value is passed as an argument in the function. Okay, if the value is uh, uh, as an integer data type uh, and passed uh, in the argument in ABS function, then it returns an integer value. And if the argument is a double data type, then it returns a double data type value. Okay, and in uh, math.abs function, only one argument can be uh, 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 sorry one value actually being taken as an argument okay so let's see so you can see i've just written here mac.abs within bracket uh, 25 i am just pass as an argument and uh, which is a positive value so what is happen actually 25.0 okay and suppose i'm just entering uh, to minus 25 instead of 25 then what's happen okay it's written again for 25 okay in the positive form suppose if i'm just uh, entering minus 25.7 okay so it returns plus 25.7 okay so by using the math.abs function we can get or generate the absolute value of a number